G'day, this is Captain Noob, and this is the Element Manipulator Cannon. This is a highly customizable standalone energy weapon that uses the Cryolator sounds and animations, which work well, and can be fired in a whole bunch of different elements, which we'll get to in just a sec. But first of all, for the barrels. So what you get here is better range and accuracy, which is good for, obviously, maintaining damage and accuracy over range. So we'll chuck on the long hexagonal prism barrel there, and we'll move on. You can chuck a sight onto this if you feel like it. I feel like a scope is pushing it, so we'll just go for a little bit of a reflex sight just to help us out in bats if need be. And for the stocks, there's a whole bunch of uh, stuff you can choose from here. Very futuristic looking gun. I do like the aesthetics of this. I kind of like this stock the best, to be honest, so I'll chuck that on. And you can change the colors, which is awesome. Plasma Naga colors, sure. Now, for the main bit, the elements. So you can have acid, which sprays acid, probably similar to My Alert Queen things. And then you've got the arcane, which I guess might actually just be magic bolts from your, just your basic electricity gun from uh, Automatron. Chaos Element, I think that just applies to the Frenzy effect. That's fine. Dark Element, which is interesting, uses cryo cells. So, yeah, that also does a ton of damage too. So, I'm actually interested in seeing how that goes. Electricity Element, electric bolt. So, maybe this is actually using the thing from the automatron gun. Fire element probably turns it into a flamethrower. Ice element, just like a basic cryolator. And light element fires a light beam, apparently. Yeah, I'm keen to see how this works. Interestingly, there's one called Love and Hate, which uh, heals allies and damages enemies, which is strange. I wonder how they got that working. Void element, which um, appears to do a little bit of ballistic and energy damage, with a whole lot of damage, actually. That's pretty good. Water element, not sure if that's going to help us all that much. Maybe if it fires out at extremely high pressures, we could do a little bit of damage with it, but not convinced. And a wind element. Okay. There's a lot to go through here, so we'll create one of each of these and we'll test them out. Okay, before we get into shooting people with them, let's just see what these weapons do. So this one is, I believe it's the dark element. Yes, it is. Let's see what it does. It seems to shoot goop at people. Fine, whatever. This is arcane, so this would be the magic one. Seems to be firing something akin to uh, the bullets that you'd find out of an alien blaster, but I think they're traveling faster, so maybe this one is a little bit better suited for range, which is nice. Let's go over to electricity. Yep, that's just the basic one from the Tesla rifle. I remember the name of it this time. Isn't that nice? Anyways, of water... This is really explosive water. I hope I don't put that in my next drink bottle. Next, Energy of the Eternal. This one is... Ice Element. Cryolator, probably. Yep, we're just with a different sound. So maybe I was lying about the sounds. I apologize for that. Okay, of Doom, apparently. Appears to be some sort of thing that you'd get from Lorenzo's gun. So yep, Void Element. That makes sense. And a Meowing Tempest, which is Wind Element. It shoots Gamma Gun shotgun rounds, which were cut from the game. I'm glad it's not a fart joke weapon too, that'd been horrible. This one is Fire Element. Flamethrower? Yep, except it doesn't fire like a flamer. Rather, it fires little bits of napalm that fall to the ground that explode. Okay, that's a thing. Next, we've got the Acid Element, so My Alert Queen Spray, probably. No, it appears to be just basic um, Plasma Gun goop, except it's all liquefied and in the air. Plasma Gun Flamethrower stuff, except we'll have a little bit of poison damage on it, which is basically useless. This is the Love and Hate one. Let's see how this one works. It shoots some red projectiles that are either love or hate or maybe even a bit of both. And the Rune of Purity is Light Element, so this should be a light beam. So it's like a laser gun that fires yellow beams. Maybe that's just my ENBs there, or maybe my color blindness. And a Vortex Maelstrom, which is kind of cool, firing the Chaos Element, which uh, luckily we don't frenzy this guy because he's taken every single one of my attacks so far and hasn't budged. That's what they do. Let's actually shoot people now. Also, 
Uh, cyborg Captain Bridget is here. So here we are in Gunners Plaza, and this is our element manipulator cannon in first person. Looks alright. This one actually seems to lock on, which is useful because I believe this is the arcane one that fires uh, those slow projectiles. But anyways, we've got all of these linked up to some hotkeys, except for the rune of affection and the rune of purity. There actually wasn't enough room, I suppose. I guess we could chuck on that there, so we know that equals means we're going to grab that. But all of these other ones is just going to be random. So uh, let's see what we can do with these. Without further ado, let's get started. So number one is what? The cryo gun? No, it's the. I think it's the dark matter one that shoots out the dark goo bits, which is strange. It does a lot of damage, but the projectile is slow, which means its range is going to be not great and doesn't seem too accurate there. Although we didn't get any sights for it really, so. Yeah, not going too well with this. I think the projectile is big as well, so it's like hitting the walls before it can actually turn the corner. Also, that is a nice tactical light effect there. Alright, number two. This is... Looks like it's the alien one. The alien blaster one. And the projectiles do definitely seek out their targets. But you get that at the cost of less damage. That gun was squishy, so that's why we killed her quickly. This appears to be the Tesla rifle variant. As you can tell, the... Uh, the projectiles and the electricity arcs between people, so you can actually do pretty well if you're getting swarmed by lots of low-level things, or just stacking damage on a wider group target, but yeah, there's not a lot going on with that. That's kind of what we saw out of Automatron. This is the water one that shoots like the, I don't know, like the plasma storm projectiles, but um, they explode and actually does a whole lot of damage. So yeah, this is like the deadliest super soaker I've ever used. Let's get a sneak attack crit with a super soaker. Perfect, 164 damage. Next, we have this one. This one looks like it's a cryo thing of some description. Ah, it's just a cryolator. And it chews up its ammo quite quickly, although I probably didn't have it fully loaded. So yeah, just like the basic cryolator slash pocket flamer, it does all right. We'll move on. This one is... Ah, looks like it's the gamma gun shooting one that uses those cut projectiles. So that's kind of cool. They are hit scan, which is nice. Usually the gamma gun um, projectiles are kind of slow when it comes to projectile speeds in Fallout 4. So it's nice to get a hit scan weapon, I suppose, with the gamma gun projectiles. I think we're on number 8 now. Let me just... Yep, number 8 would be this one. And it is the flame one, which cooked that guy very, very quickly. Okay, this one seems to be extraordinarily powerful. Also, stim pack, please. Almost died there. Um, yeah, Captain Bridget's got a nasty gun on her. The synth Captain Bridget. There are two fake Captain Bridgets. I can't say hello me, meet the real me. This is the pocket flamer one. Ooh, we actually liquefied her. I'll grab that so no one else uses it on me. Yep, this one seems to be doing an alright amount of damage. Ah, it's actually acid because they're... They're um, melting like they would if uh, My Alert Queen hit them, which is great. We've already seen that one. I'm getting, I'm losing track of which ones I'm actually using. Oh, the zero key is a stim pack. I did that for safety reasons. And this appears to be firing some sort of explosive flame projectile, which actually looks really good. That's some nice effects there. I wonder how they did that. Was that just... Oh, wait, this would be the chaos one, wouldn't it? So it might be something like the... Frenzy grenades that you can get a hallucinogen, and apparently they do um, frenzy things. So next time we see, okay, that one's too powerful for hallucinogen gas. I guess that confirms my theory. So we're gonna have to find someone a little bit more weaker to actually um, make them frenzied, which kind of sucks to have that limitation. But I guess for balance reasons, that's okay. Legendary gun are probably too powerful for it. Yeah, and basic gun are probably too weak and will get killed instantly. Yeah. What about a lieutenant? Too powerful. No, oh, the lieutenant's actually fighting for me. That's good. Well, in the meantime, we can use the one on equals, which I believe was the something. But it's the laser beam one. This seems to go alright. It's nice to get a little bit more range because you can do stuff like that. Also, the scopes on this are being affected by an unrelated mod, so that's why they look like that. I'm definitely liking the laser beam one, especially since it's like a constant beam, pretty much. It does jump around a little bit on you, but it'd be a little bit boring if it stayed completely accurate 100% of the time, so that's okay. So, there you have it. That was a fairly decent amount of uh, 
element manipulator cannons here, and none of them performed really badly. They actually did okay with their respective little um, different things, and also, yeah, that was pretty good, wasn't it? I want to get the love and hate cannon thing, but we're going to need a friend for that, and I've got an idea. Righto, here we are outside of uh, Swan's train yard, I suppose, and we've got the rune of affection, which means we can heal friends. We've got Cyber Winter with us, so yeah, two robots for the price of one, and we've also got this one, which is the void cannon. It's basically the Lorenzo's gamma gun thing. Let's see how we go against Swan. If Winter gets herself into trouble and uh, she needs healing, we'll switch to our rune of affection and heal her with that. She's also got one. She's got the um, version that fires the dark matter, and you can see she's firing it like mortars, which is actually kind of cool seeing the AI use that. It's actually cooler seeing that than using it yourself in, uh, in a, like a third person view. Is she even hitting him though? Am I doing all the work? Winter got hit for a second. She's actually taking quite a bit of damage, so we'll get on to some healing with her. And she's doing actually alright. I'm pretty sure I just saw 800 damage. Swan actually mutated because of Winter. Looks like you can make companions pull their weight with this gun. And I expected bats to go real time for a second there. Also, you get so many shots with this in bats. That might be a little bit overpowered, to be honest. We'll go for a critical. Looks like you can perma stagger him because this thing hits with a forcible impact, like the Lorenzo's uh, gamma gun in the vanilla game. So I'm pretty sure we can just perma stun him by just by shooting him all the time. He's just stuck in a stagger animation right now, which would be fun to do that to players in uh, Fallout 76. That's maybe why I haven't seen any staggering legendary effects on any of the weapons that I've come across that happen to be legendary. Winter needs some healing. Let's get some. Oh, wait, she just popped this impact. That's okay. She's probably going to get stomped by a swan in a second, though. Yep, she's down. Can we revive people with it? That's the question. We, we've lost half our hopes from that. Okay, looks like we can't actually revive. And we died ourselves. Great. It's more ethical fighting with robots because you can just go back to the factory and start making new ones to replace the dead ones. See? That's what being institute leader is all about. Making robot people do all the work for you with no moral repercussions ever. Can we actually fire now? There we go. Let's just try to get a speed kill on him because it's clear that the healing gun isn't all that good for doing damage. So we're just going to try and sneak attack crit our way to victory with a weapon that isn't, um, uh, what is it called? suppressed at all obviously for a giant energy weapon like this the suppressor is usually out of the question but with all of those vat shots we seem to be going okay the projectiles on these are actually a little bit slow but that really doesn't matter it's kind of like firing a giant missile that you know distorts the air around it which is kind of cool maybe if i let swan get a little bit closer winter can actually hit him here comes a burst of that she missed with everything Yes, your targeting sensors need to be recalibrated, Winter, Cyber Winter, because you're not hitting anything. None of those hit still. I'm getting XP from something though, so maybe something is being killed back there. Okay, almost in danger. I'm going to back off a little bit because I don't want to lose my ability to sneak attack crit. You going to do anything down there, Winter? You're just going to sit there pointing at him. You let me do all the work. I suppose this is basically the, the most overpowered way to run this weapon because I just can't get detected because he's locked in place. There's no way he's gonna ever find me even though we are using an unsuppressed weapon. Winter said add Victorium. Good job. You, you're just fighting all the way to victory. Come on. Do stuff. If Swan gets a little bit closer we should be alright. Maybe if I stagger Winter out of that, I can't actually stagger her. That sucks. Okay, looks like she might be doing something now. Let's just go back to targeting his face. Where is Swan going? I think he's going to attack Winter instead. That's odd. But now he's going to be staggered in place. Now that he is in range, I think we're seeing better damage despite not doing the sneak attack crits. Not the most... Oh, we've actually got a knockdown there. Was that you? 
Probably not, but there we go. Not my most action-packed kill of Swan, but we got the job done without any personal injuries to ourselves. So, you know, we did pretty well there. And I think I'm going to leave it here. I think you get the gist of this weapon. You've seen a little bit of how it works. A lot of it is um, close to what you'd find in the vanilla game, which is okay. It's nice and repurposed. It feels fresh anyway. And Quad Bride is. He always does a good job with his weapons. He makes weapons that work with the vanilla animations. If it ain't broke, don't fix it kind of uh, deal. Which is funny because we'll never see one for the, ha the lever action rifles because their animations are broken. But that's kind of off topic. Um, if you'd like to see this thing in your game, check out the description. I do highly recommend all of Quad Riot's mods because they're really good stuff. Thank you for watching, guys.